Mm-hmm. Pizza dude's got 30 seconds. Mm-hmm. What's up, dudes? Welcome to another fresh hot slice of late pizza. I'm your host, Steve-O, as always, and today we are doing another TMNT uh, unboxing. This time, I'm going to be taking a look at the uh, NECA Pizza Monster. Take a look inside the window box there. Some of the artwork. So we will go ahead and uh, get this giant beast out of this box. Take a look at what he does and what he comes with. Alright, so here we have got the Pizza Monster out of the box. Uh, I can already tell this is going to be a fun character to try to figure out how to balance and get him to stand up appropriately for uh, any standing amount of time. Um, taking a look at the back of the box, as with a lot of the, or all of the Ultimate figures, it's got a little blurb here. <clears throat> Shredder and Baxter Stockman devise a scheme to ensnare the turtles with free pizzas topped with a sinister secret ingredient. Three devilish eggs from Dimension X. When the prize pizzas are mistakenly delivered to April and a pair of bratty bambinos, the mysterious monster eggs hatch and the cretentious critters escape into the city sewers. There's an even deadlier surprise awaits. Once exposed to water, the creatures mature into 15-foot rampaging beasts. Can the heroes in a half-shell capture Krang's creature control device and subdue the destructive demons before it's too late. So yeah, this was uh, a classic episode. Uh, had the VHS tape that had this episode on it. I would replay this one constantly. Some of the accessories they come with. Uh, got a little pizza here. I think the dark spots are meant to represent the little alien egg balls that they put on the pizza. And of course those hatch into the baby pizza monster which is uh just awesome this guy is pretty great uh comes with a ufo pizza box uh it does open it's got a little hinge and i believe the pizza does fit uh perfectly right inside there so uh those three accessories just go pretty perfectly together right there and then alongside that <clears throat> the creature control device uh, which Krang and Shredder would use to control the pizza monsters. And he comes packed with his tail, of course, which is uh, movable, posable. We'll get that popped on him in a second. So yeah, uh, all in all, great creature, great size to him. Um, a lot of people are buying three of these, I think. I'm pretty sure that's how many were in the initial episode. Uh, I'm probably just going to stick with the one for now, because especially with that tail... Uh, the height and the size of his head, he's just going to take up a lot of room. And like I said, he is very precarious. He's got very spindly arms, very top-heavy. So it's going to be hard enough to get one of these to pose, much less three. going to go ahead and uh, set him up, take some shots of him, and that'll probably do it for this one. Uh, just one quick thing I meant to mention uh, in the review. Uh... His mouth does have a hinge, it opens, and uh, not only does it open a little bit and close a little bit like the other uh, characters that feature this, his jaw opens to uh, what I would call a, a very disturbing range. Uh, you can get his mouth just wide open, uh, and it's pretty terrifying. So yeah, going to go ahead and get some shots with him and the accessories and some other characters, and that's going to do it. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this unboxing and review of the NECA TMNT 1987 Pizza Monster Ultimate figure. As always, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, check out some of the other videos on the channel. Uh, thanks for taking the time out. Have a good one.
Uh, and I couldn't find a place. Wise man say, forgiveness is divine, but never pay full price for late pizza.